Habang palago ng palago o ekonomiya ng Pilipinas, kasunod nito ang pahina ng pahina na ekonomiya ng China. Wala nang nagtitiwala at naniniwala sa propaganda ng mga Chinese. Talagang tuloy-tuloy na ang karma ni Xi Jinping. Sa katatapos lang kasing state visit ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos sa Vietnam, makikita mo na bawat bansang binibisita ni PBBM ay nagtitiwala at nagsusuporta sa Pilipinas laban sa China. Lahat ay pumapanig na sa Pilipinas. Sinungaling kasi at hindi mapagkakatiwalaan si Chinese President Xi Jinping. At si BBM naman ang isa sa pinakapinagkakatiwala ang Pangulo sa buong Asia. Bumababa nga ng konti ang ratings ng ating bansa. Pero nananatili pa rin to sa pinakamataas na posisyon sa mga bigating bansa sa Asia. I am pleased to inform you and the Filipino people of the outcomes of the state visit to the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. The state visit aimed to further strengthen our strategic partnership with Vietnam, Vietnam being our only strategic partner in Asia, and further to explore areas of cooperation while building on existing ones. I met with His Excellency Vo Van Thuong, President of Vietnam, and we discussed areas of cooperation including defense, maritime, trade and investment, economic, education, tourism, and culture. We also witnessed the exchange of several agreements, including on rice, agriculture, culture, and maritime cooperation. I also met with other leaders of Vietnam, the Prime Minister of Vietnam and the Chairman of Vietnam's National Assembly. We discussed the strengthening of bilateral relations through people-to-people -people exchanges, parliamentary cooperation, and many other areas of collaboration. On trade and investment, We have successfully safeguarded the interests of Filipino businesses operating in Vietnam by providing them with a platform to voice their experiences, plans, and challenges at the very highest level. We want to assure them that the Philippine government stands ready to support their endeavors in competing in foreign markets. In my dialogue with Vietnamese business leaders, they expressed interest and expanding their businesses in the Philippines, as well as exploring cooperation with our business sector in various traditional and non-traditional economic activities. Furthermore, we have engaged in discussions with the Vin Group company to explore a collaboration in the fields of AI, medical courses, and scholarships for Filipino students. Our shared objectives include active participation in the electric vehicle and battery supply chains. I had the pleasure, of course, to speak with the Filipinos living in Vietnam, and I express my appreciation for their continued good work in projecting a very positive image of the Philippines in Vietnam. I acknowledge the sacrifice that they have made for their families and I lauded them for the contributions to the socio-economic development of the Philippines and of Vietnam. I gave them my assurances that my administration will continue to strive for the betterment of all Filipinos in the Philippines and abroad.